Note that our smart mate appears below the offset shaft in the standard mate folder and of course really exists in the mates folder itself. It's a regular concentric mate and that's something to be aware of. Smart mates is a tool. It is not another kind of mate but rather another method for creating mates within SolidWorks. So rather than using the standard mate command we use smart mating through drag and drop, but they create the same mates at the end, concentric or coincident or tangent or whatever as the case may be. To continue, we'll look at smart mating with this round cover. And I'm going to use a flat face to show what happens when we drag and drop with flats. Holding down my Alt key, I will drag the yellow cover by its flat round or flat uh, face. And as I drag again, you'll notice that it becomes transparent. As long as I hold down the left mouse key, I can also still use the middle mouse, which lets me rotate the view and zoom in and zoom out as I'm doing here. When my cursor, the pointer, again goes over something to mate with, for example, this top face here, I get plane symbols which indicate flat face to flat face mating typically would be coincident but the pop-up dialog would allow me to change it to something else like parallel, perpendicular, or angle, or offset as the case may be. As I continue to drag this face you will notice it picking up mates to other items. And in my case here I could mate it coincident flat face of the front to the um, housing. If again I were to let go, I would have options for coincident as the default, but also other mates between flat faces. And again, the mate we would get, coincident, would be a standard coincident mate. Let's delete that coincident mate and try this again. This time, I will smart mate by dragging and dropping this edge, which is a round edge. The round edge is defined by the intersection of a planar face and a cylindrical face. And I'll drag and drop that to a like edge on my housing. Holding the Alt key down, I'll drag by the round edge, let go of the Alt key once I have this going. And if I drag this round edge to another round edge, you will see another type of symbol called the pin or peg in hole symbol, which indicates round edge to round edge. In SOLIDWORKS through the smart mating mechanism, this always gives you two mates, concentric for the round face, cylindrical face, coincident for the flat. In my case here, I will drop it to this edge. Okay. Again, the tab key would give me aligned or anti-aligned if I needed to change, and then I simply let go. Now, since this is creating two mates, I will not get the pop-up dialog, because it's not one mate, let's maybe change that one mate to something else, it is a special case. Round edge to round edge, we always then get concentric for the rounds. and coincident for the flats. You will notice, however, that we also got concentric for a pair of holes. This is yet another special case which is triggered when you smart mate with round edges and both parts in question have hole patterns that are cylindrical based off of the center of the outside edge you're mating to. As long as the hole patterns are circular hole patterns, based off of the same center, with the same spacing, and same number of items, SOLIDWORKS will match up the nearest holes it can find. You may have to edit the mate you get, the concentric mate, for example, if I didn't want the tab at the top, but rather on the bottom, I could always edit this concentric mate, like I can any other mate, and choose something else 
like instead of mating to this hole, deselect that and mate to the opposite here, which would turn it and bring the, the little tab to the bottom. But I do want it on the top, so I'll undo that and let it be. Remember, the smart mate is not a different kind of mate. It is another tool for creating mates. So the mates that are created through the smart mate mechanism are fully editable, just like any other mates that you wish to create. To do that again, or to look at this again, it's concentric for the outsides, coincident for the flats, concentric for the holes that match up. And by the way, that special case, the holes do not have to be the same size. Just have to have the same center and same number and spacing.